Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today, we have a review for the new Cortex Chime EB351 550, a 5-inch 50mm oscillating dual-action polisher. The polisher comes equipped with a dual-slot battery charger, two lithium-ion 18V 5Amp hour batteries, with LED charge indicators. It weighs 1.58 pounds each, and with the polisher, it will be 5.95 pounds. For comparison, a Rupus LHR15 Mark III weights 5.57 pounds and 7.2 pounds with the cord. The EB351 is only 0.38 pounds more. Charging time for the batteries takes about 45 minutes, and drain time under load is also about 45 minutes, meaning you are able to use one and charge the other without any downtime. All cordless shiny polisher come upgraded with a brushless DC motor, progressive trigger, soft start, and stepless speed dial. Ergonomics wise, the polisher is quite balanced with the battery on, about a 4060 front to back weight distribution. All contact points are coated with rubber surface from the grip to the front hood to under the hood in some areas of the truck. Very thoughtful indeed. You know what when you put in your hand there. With air ducts throughout, blowing air towards the handle and out to the side. Also notice the backing plate and the shroud gap, meaning free spinning plate with no rubber shrouds. We'll be testing its acoustics, vibration, and power stalling. I'm pretty sure we all like to know how much it stalls. It's a cordless after all. First is the acoustics. Speed 4 holding the polisher at arm's length registered 74.5 decibels and across the room 12 feet away is at 69.9 decibels. Speed 6 at arm's length is 76 decibels and 12 foot apart is 71.2. Meaning you and your mates likely don't need air pucks with it running. This is likely one of the less intrusive polishers versus some of the others we'll be testing. Stay tuned for the 1200 watt DX620. Second is vibration. We strap our instrument tightly onto the polisher to measure vibration or acceleration in all three axes in meters per second squared. Taking averages over a 10 seconds period, lower the number, the less vibration. We test it with a one inch thick foam pad and the low profile microfiber pad. Pad thickness and weight does contribute to the vibration after all. Awesome balance at speed one, of course. Not much use here, expect for waxing. Anything below 0.7, will consider very comfortable. Between 0.8 and 1 is slightly fatiguing, and anything over 1 to 1.2 is somewhat usable, but the arms will give out fast and not recommended. Most of the differences here are small. At some certain speeds, phone is more balanced than microfiber and vice versa. But at critical speeds 5 and 6, they are identical. The top bar is mounting a 6-inch plate without tempering with the counterweight. The 6-inch phone works fine, but the EB351 definitely did not like a 6-inch plate with a 6-inch microfiber pad. We will leave that for the 6-inch 21mm version. Now let's talk about power installing. We devised the test by measuring machine RPM and free spin, then securely ghetto. Strap on the 2.5 pound weight, that's the common weight one would apply on the polisher, then we measure its RPM to see how much it shows. And here it is. Though free spin doesn't give any clear indication on how strong the polisher performs on the load, but it does provide a good comparison on how much it shows when pressure is applied. At every speed, we see an approximate increase of 20% in RPM. Very consistent power output, with like the linear power band. The last thing we want is the inconsistencies in the speed modulation. Here's the RPM under load at 2.5 pounds. No, these are RPM and not OPM. Oscillations per minute. Tests were done multiple times on a flat panel with a very specific pad and methodology, as any change in pad polish, weight, panels coverture, etc. will alter its data. For example, some of the compounds are more grabbier than others. At speed 1 to 2, we can't do much here with anything under 150 RPM, maybe just enough for applying waxes, which is fine. At speed 3 to 4, we can comfortably and efficiently do light corrections. And 5 and 6 is where cutting happens, especially speed 6. You can really feel the power comes in. Combined with the 0.4 meter per second square vibration numbers, it can do some serious work. Mind you, it's not as strong as the new corded EX620, especially when pressure exceeds 2.5 pounds. But the EB351 is surprisingly powerful. Nice. Here's a quick comparison on a free spin versus low. So, does it stall under pressure? If you're reasonable, no. Will it stall on concaves or tilting machine too much? Yes, because it's a DA. It's literally oscillating into the surface if you tilt it. And the question we keep asking ourselves is, are the performance numbers we see here sustainable throughout its battery cycle? Will the power drop when the battery is half full or near empty? Stay tuned for the second round. Overall, we would like to give it an 8.1 out of 10. And that concludes our review on the Shime EB351 515. 
Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.